Today, we're gonna to show you how to check the oil level or stern drive level for a Mercruiser or Mercury Marine engine. Now, this specifically relates to the stern drive gear oil and gear lube that is essentially the transmission and lower unit on the back of the boat that hangs out where the prop is, not the engine oil that lubricates the physical engine. Now, we've got a Mercruiser Alpha 1 3.0, so this is the four-cylinder Mercury engine. However, this is also going to be valid for the V6 and V8. The gear lube tank is pretty much in the same place on the V8, V6, and the inline four. It's typically, if you're looking to the stern of the boat, it's going to be on the right side. So you can see here what we've got is the uh, gear lube level or the... Uh, as you can see, high performance gear lube SAE90. This is Quicksilver, which is the recommended lubricant for Mercury Marine. And it is even a division of Mercury Marine, as you can see there. So you want to check this uh, at the beginning of the season and then periodically. I like to check it, you know, every couple times I go out or start up the boat, uh, especially when you uh, change gear lube at the end of the season. You want to make sure you refill this and then after you drive it, uh, and get the engine warmed up and everything heated up and run run for a couple hours, you always want to make sure you check it again because what's going to happen is it's going to draw that down into the stern drive as any of the bubbles or air pockets or anything get out of there as the engine heats up and the gear lube heats up. So we've got the cap here, and we're going to take this off right now. You can see there's a little stopper here. Sometimes what you can have with these caps is that uh, they just fail for some reason, and if it is a super wavy time, what will happen is if it doesn't have a good seal, like you can see right here, you're going to get some oil that spills out. You definitely don't want that. So it's just something that happens over time with these. You got to be careful of that. And then I do recommend if you've got it uh, to use a funnel to fill this up. Now there is a fill line right here. You can see we're low, right? We're about halfway there. You don't want to overfill these because what happens is this reservoir connects to the stern drive through a hose. And if you overfill it, what's going to happen is you're going to get this once again. Uh, it'll expand and go through the actual uh, lid. So you don't want that or the cap. So we want to be below that fill line. Just below it is what I recommend. Like just get as close as you can because you need to leave some room for expansion uh, as this fluid heats up. So we're just adding our gear lube in there. And there we go, that's gonna be good for us. And you also wanna make sure that when you fill this up, you are at a relatively level and stationary area because if it's super wavy and or for whatever your boat is off balance, you're gonna refill it to the wrong level. So here we go, we've got our uh, funnel and just put our uh, cap back down on there, nice and tight, so there we go. That is how you refill a Mercruiser uh engine gear lube oil and this is for the mercruiser alpha one boat engine uh 3.0 lx uh however this similar procedure will work for both the v6 and v8 you've got a reservoir on this side here it's going to tell you that it's the gear lube uh reservoir on the side right over here typically it will show that and then you also do want to check to make sure the color of this is correct you saw that when that goes in it's kind of a bluish green if there's like gray fluid in here, that means that water's got in here and you got to investigate why that has happened. So just something to be aware of there uh, as you are using this. But uh, thank you for watching this video on how to refill and check the gear lube level of your Mercruiser boat engine. Thank you and we'll see you next time.